students. As you know, that tune was Star Wars, and it is the longer version of Star Wars that if you come back next year and become a String Academy 2 student, uh, then you will learn that longer version of Star Wars. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's, in fact, it's what um, the String Academy 2 students in the past, what we've had them do is play that at the end of the year with um, glow sticks attached to their uh, bows and then we turn the lights off so it looks like everybody's got lightsabers and that's really cool. We were going to do it this year again until you know what um, made that not so possible to do. So we will do that in the future hopefully. So um, just want to show you that again that poster there that's a pretty cool poster. My daughter who lives in Chicago sent that. Um, that's done by a local Chicago artist. A lot of little details in there if you're a Star Wars geek. Like, for example, there it says Alderaan. It's crossed out because there's no more Alderaan. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. Anyways, so uh, we'll get on with the lesson now. Okay, today we're going to start with some scales, of course. We're going to introduce you to the G major scale. That's something that's a little different than what we've played before. And we're also going to um, review over the Imperial theme of Star Wars, and then we're going to play the entire Stage 2 Star Wars all the way through. And we're also going to um, review over the tag, the shave and a haircut tag for Bilem Cabbage Down. Then we're going to play all of Bilem Cabbage Down. And then I'm going to, sh going to show you a little trick that you can do that's kind of a fun, advanced trick you can do with Bilem Cabbage Down. Okay, the first scale we're going to play is D major, and we're going to use a different rhythm this time. We're going to do Gooseberry Gooseberry. Now, if you'll remember, Gooseberry Gooseberry is the same rhythm we use in Bilem Cabbage Down. I'll just play the first little part of Bilem Cabbage Down. So it's like Gooseberry Gooseberry, and we do the same thing with the, with the D scale. So let's start that, starting on a high D. Here we go. Starting at the top, going to the bottom, and back to the top. Gooseberry, gooseberry, one, two, ready, go. I would like us to play a G major scale. So for violins, violas, cellos, G major scale is very easy. All we do is instead of starting three fingers uh, or cellos four fingers on the A string, you start the same way on the D string. So we go D string, three fingers on the D, four for cello, and then we go back down to the G, open G then back up to that same G we started on. Then there's G again. Three fingers for violins, violas on the D string, four fingers for cellos. Now basses, 
faces. Your finger is completely different, so I am going to switch to the bass now and go over that for the bass players. Violin, viola, cello players, go ahead and play along as, as I uh, work with the bass players on this. Okay, bass players, let's slowly go over the notes of the G scale. Now for this scale, you're actually going to get to use all four of your strings, which is it's a little different. On the D scale, you only use two strings, same with all the other instruments. But for this one, bass players, you're going to have to use all four strings. Top note, open G. Next note going down is four fingers, F sharp on the D. First finger, E. Open D. Next note down is second finger, C on the A string. First finger, B on the A string. Open A. And our bottom note on the G scale is two fingers on the E string. So let's play that low E, uh, uh, low G again on the E string, two fingers. Let's go back up. Open A. One finger B. Two finger C. Open D. One finger E. Four finger F sharp. And open G. Very good. Okay. Okay, let's everybody play that G scale. All, all the instruments play. And we're going to do it again, just like we did a minute ago with the gooseberry gooseberry rhythm. So it's like this, gooseberry, gooseberry, and starting on the high G, down to low G, back up. Here we go, all the instruments. Gooseberry, gooseberry, one, two, ready, go. Okay, since we had a chance to hear Star Wars, the longer version, just a few minutes ago, let's go ahead and look at that Stage 2 version one more time, and then we'll try playing it, uh, the, the entire Stage 2 version, all the way through. So, let's see, so for the basses, um, you, you probably noticed that that G scale we just played has a lot of those notes that we, we use in this Imperial theme section. So here we go. This is, uh, I'll just play it for the basses here. His first finger, B, is the first note. We're starting now at measure 26 in the, the stage 2 Star Wars. This is the Imperial theme. Here we go. First finger, B on the A string is where the basses start. But as usual, all the other instruments can play along. Here we go, starting measure 26. <laughs> So that also uses all four strings of the bass, I just now noticed. So um, bass players, if you need to look at that again, go ahead and rewind the video and try that a, a few more times. It's, it's kind of a tricky section, but you're doing a great job. If, if you've gotten to this point, you're learning that, you're doing a really great job learning that. So let's move on to a different instrument. Okay, let's try that imperial theme one more time. I'll be playing on the cello this time, but all the instruments go ahead and play along with me. Here we go, measure 26. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Let's 
let's try that one more time. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and play through the entire Stage 2 Star Wars now. So, go ahead and take just a moment to get a really beautiful position uh, with whatever instrument you are playing right now. If it's violin or viola, make sure the wrist is straight, you have the tickle space under your arm, fingers uh, curved standing up on the string, thumb curved on the bow, pinky up on the stick. Here we go. One, two, go. Great job! Okay, for our next piece we are going to review over Violin Cabbage Down and we will play the entire song this time and we of course will add the tag, the shave and haircut at the end there. So go ahead and uh, take a moment to turn to page 24 in your Essential Elements book and this one is number 89 uh, on page 24. So, uh, let's give that a try. Everybody read the A part this the first time around. And this, again, just like we talked about, it has, it uses that gooseberry, gooseberry uh, rhythm like this. Gooseberry, gooseberry. Let's try it. Here we go. From the beginning. Violent Cabbage Down. One. Two, ready, go. Okay, string players, so I did put up on the Google Drive uh, the, the sheet music to shave and a haircut, just in case you want to look at that. And also for bass players, I put two different versions. I put uh, the one that we worked on, this, this one that uh, starts in, in third position D. But I also put an easier one that you play in first position if you'd like to do that. Also, I'll just play it one time for you. Starts on open D, the next note is open A. Stomp. So you have two options there, basses. Okay, so let's look at a slightly advanced feature of Violin Cabbage Down. One of the really cool things you can do with this 
is you can play two notes at one time. That's called a double stop when you play more than one note uh, on your instrument, more than one string at, at once. And um, so this is going to apply to just the violins, violas, and cellos, what I'm going to talk about right now. Uh, basses, I have a special little um, little treat for you at the end, a, a special part that you can play. But for now, this is for violins, violas, and cellos. Um, you probably noticed in your uh, in your book you have a B part, and the B part is just open A like this. So that's fine if you're just learning the rhythm and learning the song, but it's not that exciting to play. But what is really exciting is to play is you can actually, believe it or not, play both the A part and the B part at the same time. And the way you do that, I'll show with cellos in a minute here, but violins and violas, if you stand your fingers up like you should there, then you should be able to press them down and the string down, the D string down. I'm, I'm putting two fingers down for your first note F sharp. You should be able to do that and also have the open A where you're not touching the open A and you can play both notes at once like this. So I'm just playing both in the first measure. I was playing both the F sharp and the A. I'll show you now on the cello. So cellos, if you keep your fingers curved like this, the cello claw or the holding a grapefruit shape for your hand, and you keep your elbow up. You don't want to have your elbow down like this. Your elbow should not rest on the cello. You need to have it up a bit. Now I have my three fingers down for the, that F sharp in measure one. But my fingers are not touching the A string, so now I can play both notes. I'll do that one more time on the violin this time. So I have two fingers down on the D string, and I'm going to play both the D string and the A string. So this is the D string by itself. This is both the D and the A. So let's try playing violin cabbage down one more time. We'll do it with the repeat and with the tag. This time, if you're comfortable playing on two strings at once, you might practice that a little bit just to get used to playing the notes with... Uh, so, and what you, all you have to do is make sure your fingers are not touching the A string. They're down on the D string, but they're not touching the A string. So let's try that at kind of a slow speed. Bass players just play it the, the normal way, the way that you've already learned it. So here we go. One, two, ready, go. And of course, if you have learned to play that, um, if you learn to play that really well, so, uh, that the double string version of, of Violin Cabbage Down, you can play it even faster, and then it'll really sound like a, like a fiddle tune. <laughs> So bass players, I mentioned that you will get to play a special part for Violin Cabbage Down, and that is in your book. It's the B part, and if you notice, it's actually a pizzicato part. So let's play that through. This is really quite easy. They're all open strings that you get to play. Starts on open D. So here we go. Go ahead and read along with me in your book. For the first time through, I'll say the names of the notes, then I won't say the names of the notes after that. And let's take the repeat. We'll do it two times. And shaving a haircut, I'll show you what to do on that too. Here we go. One and ready, go. D, D, G, rest, G, rest, D, rest, D, rest, A, A, D, D, G, G, D, A, D, D, repeat. Bum, 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 bum. D, A, O, 
stomp, and there I guess it would be bum, 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 stomp. Okay. So that's the lower part, but the B part that you can play along with Violin Cabbage Down. Now I wonder what that would sound like if we could play it all together. Hmm. Well, I just don't know how we would do that. How, how would, would, you, would we do something like that? Oh, mini me, you play bass as well? Well, great, let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's play it together. So here we go. So if you're a bass player, follow mini me. Everybody else, follow this me. Here we go. So um, I'm going to go ahead and play the double note version, but just play that if you're comfortable with it, or if you just want to play the version that's in the book, that's fine too. Here we go. Ready, Mini Me? Okay, here we go. One and a two and a one, two, ready, go. One and a two and a one two ready go. 